To solve this cube counting question, first tally up each cube based on the number of sides that are exposed. We will start from the left to the right, moving up, and then backwards. First start with this cube. This cube has its front, left, and right sides exposed. The cube above it has its front, left, right, and top side exposed. Now move back. This column has two cubes in it. One is at this bottom level, and it is exposed only on its front and left sides, so two. This cube is exposed on its front, left, and top sides, so three. Now move over to this column of cubes. This cube is only exposed on its right side. This cube is exposed on its right and top side. Now move back. This cube has a cube underneath it that is exposed only on the left and the back side. This cube that is visible is exposed on the left, back, and top side. Now move over. This cube has a cube underneath that is not exposed on any of its sides, so zero. This cube is exposed on its top side only. Now moving on over, this column of cubes does not have another column behind it. Because we cannot see a visible column behind this tall column here, we will assume that no cubes exist behind this column of cubes. So this cube and the one below it will actually be exposed on their back sides. So this cube at the bottom is exposed on the front and the back, two. And this cube is exposed on the front, the top, and the back, three. Moving over to this tall column, we have this bottom cube that is exposed on the front and the right. This cube is exposed on the front, the right, and the back. This cube is exposed on the front, the right, the back, and the left. This cube is exposed on the front, the right, the back, and the left. And this cube at the top is exposed at the front, the right, the back, the left, and the top. So five sides. Now we will move back one. Note that we have a column of cubes here that has two cubes, one at the top level and one at the bottom level. Here's the top level, here's the bottom level. And this cube here that is by itself. Remember, there are no cubes that exist in the back in this position because they are not visible because this huge column is in the way. So we will count these cubes. The one that is below this cube is actually exposed on the left, back, and right side. So three. This cube is exposed on the left, the back, the right, and the top. So four. This cube is exposed on its left side, right, and top. So three. And then we'll move on to this column in the very back. This bottom cube is exposed on the left, the back, and the right. Three. This cube is exposed on the front, the left, the back, the right, and the top. So five. Now that we have the cubes tallied up, count the number of cubes and the number of tallies. These numbers should match up, otherwise your answers will be wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Finally, we can answer the questions. How many cubes have two of their exposed sides painted? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cubes. The answer is D. How many cubes have three of their exposed sides painted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. The answer is C. How many cubes have four of their exposed sides painted? One, two, three, four cubes. The answer is B. This method allows you to quickly answer all cube counting questions that correspond to a single figure without counting the cubes over and over again.